annual tree lighting ceremony and resulted in several arrests. Como's Matt Markovich is live at Westlake Center with what is expected this year. Matt? Well, Molly, that uh, last year, five people were arrested and that demonstration disrupted shopping, transit operations and the tree lighting ceremony. Now online flyers are calling for a demonstration starting at five, starting on Friday at one in the afternoon. Black Friday last year, protesters forced the early closure of Westlake Center after a Black Lives Matter rally got unruly. It was one of many marches nationally that day in solidarity with protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. One year later, they're prepping for Christmas, for Black Friday, the morning parade, and the evening Christmas tree lighting at Westlake Center, and doing so in the shadow of violence in Paris and what happened here last year. Security is going to be top of mind, and we're well aware of that. We've had many conversations with SPD about that and with Seafair. They're the event producer. Uh, just to make sure that everyone from a security standpoint is on the same page. So we're very concerned that the Seattle Police Department not repeat what it did last year. First Amendment attorney Neil Fox represented several protesters arrested last year. He says police routinely use strong arm tactics to control demonstrators and is calling for restraint. We're calling for the police to respect the rule of law, to respect the fact that in a free society, we have a right to march in our public spaces and to protest and that we shouldn't have to fear being attacked by the police. Last year, demonstrators disrupted the tree lighting ceremony, making the annual tradition an unpleasant experience for many families. This year, the Downtown Seattle Association is anticipating tens of thousands for the tree lighting that will feature celebrity marquee talent, says Cito, and businesses hope protesters will respect the families attending the tree lighting. Friday's gonna be a terrific celebration to kick off the, uh, the holiday season. Now, the Seattle Police Department sent us a statement this afternoon saying it, was, uh, saying it supports the rights of demonstrators and the community and families enjoying the holiday spirits and it will be providing safety services to everyone. It did not say how it plans to do that. Live in Seattle, Matt Markovich, Como 4 News. Matt, thank you. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.